baby mocha. Due to the high toll prices on the high level bridge, an alternative bridge across the time was needed. Plans had been suggested, but due to World War I, these were halted. It was not until 1925 that work finally began on the bridge. The architects behind the bridge were the company of Mott, Hay and Anderson, who took inspiration from the Hellgate Bridge in New York. The arch design was the best solution at the time to span a wide distance. The role of the architect was a much more engineer-based job, as the structure was the main aspect of the design. There is a long-standing debate as to whether the Sydney Harbour Bridge was based on the Tyne Bridge or vice versa. The Tyne Bridge was finished before the Australian Bridge, however the Sydney Half Bridge was started first. Work on the Tyne Bridge took just three years to complete under the supervision of Dorman, Long and Co. As Newcastle's most recognisable structure, the Tyne Bridge has become an icon of both the city's industrial past and more recent regeneration. Admired throughout the world, its opening was marked a significant day by local people, with news channels broadcasting the King's speech and children were given a day off school. Most instantly recognised by its green, green colour, it was not always that shade, an issue which proved controversial when repainted in the millennium. The construction process saw a turning point in the relationship between rivaling Titan and Teesiders, as they put their troubles aside and came together to create a bridge which had become a marvel of the construction industry. The bridge also provided many jobs, a particular issue at that time, allowing locals to have a better quality of life. 